morning welcome to our youtube channel story of motherhood if you have not subscribed on our youtube channel please do and don't forget to click on that notification bell for you to get notified anytime we are on live or upload a new video yeah we are back again happy friday guys happy weekend today uh brian never uh, did not sorry today brian did not go to kinder creepy because they called me after kinder creepy got finished yesterday after the closing time they called me and they said the teachers in his uh, group they are sick so he shouldn't come today it's going to it should come on monday so yeah we are in europe the weather is changing now we are getting into cold it's cold time so most of the time Almost everybody are sick. Mm. Even Brian just recovered from his uh, from um, fever. I also had fever. <laughs> Melvin also had fever. It's okay. Shut up. Shut up. Melvin also had fever and so, so we thank God. So today, uh, Friday, Brian is with me and uh, we decided to make a video. I miss you all. I miss you so much. So today, we are going to be talking about um you a uh, freedom peace of mind you know that is what we are going to be talking about today like are you free are you at peace with your mind you know what i mean brian can you please stop this hmm? please the noise is too much are you at peace with yourself what is bothering you who have you offended that you cannot say sorry? Let me tell you guys. There are some people that we've offended that we don't know we have offended. That is why they say there is power from our mouth. There is power from our tongue. Whatever, whatever we say goes a long way. That is why they said the words are like raw egg. When it falls down, you cannot put it back together. There are some people that we have offended. And there are some people... There are some people that we have offended and we know that we have offended them. It's okay. And we know that we have offended them. Can you stay like this? And we know that we have offended them. Why can't we say sorry for us to have peace of mind? What is bothering you? Are you in that problem? Are you having a trouble? Are you in that uh, uh, worry that is bothering you? My brothers and my sister, today, I just want to tell you that be free. Be free. Free yourself. Let no chains hold you down. Free yourself. Leave everything to your creator. It's okay. 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 Leave everything to your creator. Hold on, guys. Story of motherhood. This is how we roll. Leave everything to your creator. Tell it to God what is bothering you because peace of mind is good health. Are you in that situation that you are keeping malice, that you are keeping fighting, keeping grudges with people? Please free your mind. It's not a big deal. You can go to the person and say, I am sorry. I know I did wrong. Forgive me. So that your mind would be at peace. When the mind is at peace, you have good health. When your mind is at peace, Brian, please, can you just uh, slow down a little bit? You hear? When your mind is at peace, you have good health. Your mind is free. Then you are free indeed. And no chains are holding you. Forgive people. Learn how to say you are sorry. Whatever is bothering you. Are you depressed? Are you worried? Is it financial problem? Is it childbearing? Are you looking for the fruit of the womb? Are you looking for husband? Are you looking for a best friend? Are you looking for somebody to talk to? My brothers and my sister, the time is now. Be happy. Put your mind in peace. Be free because today is the day that your answer has come. When your mind is troubled, 
The angels is bringing your peaceful mind. The angels is bringing present for you. The angels is bringing answer to your worries, answer to your prayers, solution to your to, to your situation. And your mind is not at peace. You have not forgiven your neighbor. You have not said you are sorry to who you offended. You have not said, please God forgive me for all I have seen. Free yourself so that you will receive the blessings of God. For those looking for the fruit of the womb, you are blessed. Your womb will carry babies. Free yourself. Be free. Put your mind at peace. For those looking for husbands, a faithful husband, receive that your husband, a husband that will spend the life with you, a husband that will support your career, a husband that will be there for you, that will provide for you, and that will be your shoulder when you want to lay on. Today, God will connect you with that husband. Is it financial problem? Sorry, guys. Is it financial? I love you. Is it financial problem? Tell it to God. When you're looking for a breakthrough, when you're looking for a finance, when you're looking for money, when you're looking for income, you can start somewhere. You can start with any little capital. Start with something before you start with that little capital. You can tell God, God, this is my penny. This is what I have to invest. Please, God, multiply this penny for me. As I invest this into this business, God, <laughs> multiply it into millions, into thousands, into nairas for me, Lord. When you tell your creator that, he will surely visit that business. Place that business to God. Are you looking for job? Don't just stay at home. Take your bag. Write your application. Start moving. Submit your CV because job will not knock in your, on your door. Job will not come to your house and say, come, I want to employ you. You have to move. Have you? God bless you. <coughs> Sorry, guys. So don't bother about that. I'm a true African woman. Mama. Excuse me, Brian. Be careful, please. So, like I say, Brian, can you allow our fans to see all of us? It's better like this, my shot. You understand? Job cannot come to your house to look for you and say, I want to employ you. Excuse me, shutting. I want to employ you. You have to look for job. Yes, a lot of people have been looking. They have go around various companies looking for job just to get job they they've yeah, worked yeah, yeah, everywhere yeah. they've called so many people they know but i want to tell you today god said you are free god said your mind will be at peace today whosoever is listening to my voice today god said i should tell you that you are free that job you will get that children you will get that husband, that wife you will get. That peace of mind you will get. Financial breakthrough you will get. Upliftment you will get. Success breakthrough you will get. Today, in the name of Almighty God, whether you are a Christian or a Muslim or so, whatsoever you serve, as long as you believe that there is God, the creator of the universe, the creator of heaven and earth, today receive your blessings and be free. And be free. Because no chains are holding us. It's what we choose to be. We are free indeed. I'm going to put the link of this song because I have no copy. Oh, yes, my, my son is singing it. I'm going to put the, the name of the person that had the song. Um, that You can go and listen to it later. I have no copyright to the song, so I cannot play it on YouTube. Because of community guidelines, you understand? So I'm going to put the name of the singer, and you have to listen to it. And I bet you when you listen to that song, then you are free. You understand what I'm saying? Brian, can you come and sit down on my lap? Brian, please come here, please. I love you.
Tell mommy you love me. Come. So that is it. Be happy. So I will quickly say this now. If you are a mother, don't keep malice with anybody. Don't keep malice with nobody. Do you know why? If you are parents. You don't know where our children we don't know where our children will end up in. We don't know the connection. We don't know who and who they will meet in future. So it's better for you to avoid somebody in a peaceful way than for you to keep malice or fight with that person that will last or tell the person that word that will that will injure him or her forever. I remember a few years ago, I was stranded in, in my country and I, I was so stranded that my, uh, I, I visited another town from my town and I was stranded and I was looking for help. And then I called my father and I said, I am stranded. Please, I need help. And he told me, can you go and visit this, my friend? Go to, to his house. And when I go there, do you know what my, my father's friend told me? He said, my daughter, shut, shut, can you please leave the camera? Thank you, my love. He said, my daughter, I'm going to help you. Do you know why? Do you know why I'm going to help you? It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Do you know why I'm going to go and bring that for me? Maybe, maybe want to cry. I don't want him to cry. Give me this one. Do you know why I'm going to help you? Because your father is a nice man. Because your father also rescued me a few years ago. We shouldn't do things because of us. Can you please just stop? I love you. We shouldn't do things because of us. We should do things because of us and our children, our generation. Whatever we sow as a parent, we will reap. That is why I always pray this prayer. Lord, Whatever sin I have committed as a mother, let it not affect my children. Let me bear the cross myself. You understand me? So be good for the future. Be good for yourself. And be good for what you will reap in future. I remain your lady, JJ, and the story of motherhood. Share this video. And don't forget to subscribe, like, or unlike. Drop a comment. On the yeah, comment section, we love you. Yeah. Say bye bye. <laughs> bye, we love you. Bye bye, guys. It's a little bit ooh, too much because of Brian is so agile this morning, but it is well. You know, our role is the story of motherhood. Choose.